The Umm Al Jamal Archaeological Project is a long-term collaboration between Calvin University, our department, our, our program in archaeology, uh, the history department here, and the local community in Umm Al Jamal, and the Department of Antiquities of Jordan. Calvin has been working at, at Umm Al Jamal since 1972. It was in that year when Bert de Vries went to survey the site, and we've been working there consistently um, without interruption ever since. And our current work there is, is the 50th, we're, we're here for the 50th anniversary um, field season. What are these rooms? Well, they're not, they're not the church, right? We can see the outer wall of the church, but these rooms were attached to the church. Did these rooms exist when the church was first built? That's a good question. Were these rooms added after the church was built? If so, when? For what purpose? Um, and one of our key goals is digging right up against the church wall on the outside is we want to find a foundation trench for the church. The trench that was dug for the foundation stones. And we want to see what's underneath those foundation stones. So we know that that material is earlier than the church. And if we can date that material, that allows us to, our best opportunity to pinpoint when was this church built? What could we do, short of being an NGO giving people assistance, what could we do that was long-term that could benefit the local community and the refugees? Because we're very familiar with the fact that in Jordan, and you'll see a film about this later, refugees don't tend to go home. They are there are people here who are refugees in the 70s who are still called refugees, right? So what do we do for this community? And so we looked around and we said, well, what are the assets? Ta-da! That is the major asset. You see that place and you fall in love. How do we protect the site and create the site as an economic driver? This was the question. You guys are participating in the development of the opportunity for economic uh, output related to the site for tourists, which includes, you know, tour guiding, uh, food production, uh, hiking tours around the site, adventures out into the desert. This is the catalyst. This is the core spot. The UNESCO World Heritage List is a list of the most important sites of cultural significance around the world. Um Al Jamal has been for a number of years on UNESCO's tentative list and we're now in the final stages of that ultimate nomination. With UNESCO World Heritage status, Um Al Jamal will immediately be recognized as one of those sites that tourists ought to visit. We're almost finished for the day with this. It was a slow day. But tomorrow, we can right from the very beginning. We're going to do a quick photograph. Our work is not an American project. It is a global project. We are in partnership with the people of Jordan. They invite us back to tell the story, and we are eager to tell the story with them together. Four point six five six. How many? So it's one centimeter. The second one. 
The side is mean a lot for me, you know. Uh, it's a part of my life, my part of my daily life. Starting with collecting scorpions here when I was like seven years, eight years old. Catching lizards, looking for snakes between these stones. And uh, then it started when I saw some blonde and white people <laughs> digging in the side. And what those Americans doing here, looking for treasures, looking for what? You know. I love the side. You know. As I told you before, it's become a part of my life, my daily life. And what I'm doing right now, you know, is to help the community. And it's part of our culture and it's part of our heritage. You know, we lived here, we protect the site. And uh, without our ancestors, our tribe, you will never see the place like this, you know. It will be demolished. How do you there is a tension and a real challenge that people like me have with exploring a site like Umel Jamal. And one of the things that we must grapple with as, as, a, as, as a discipline, the field of archaeology, is that our discipline is rooted in colonialism and Western, European, and American imperialism. That doesn't mean, however, that we should stop doing archeological work, stop exploring these parts of the world. But I think it means that we need to take a new approach to doing the work that we do in these parts of the world. The thing that differentiates my approach and our project's approach from maybe historical ways of doing archaeology is that we see our work as a partnership with the current contemporary generation, the current inhabitants of Umel Jamal, the current inhabitants of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. And, uh, this is our duty and our goal in, this, in these days, you know, to help the the community to benefit from the from the side, bringing tourists to Amul Jamal to see this ancient history, 2000, 2000 years of civilization. We're talking about the Nabataeans, Romans, Byzantines, and Islamic periods. And every new generation, every new person that visits the site they are contributing to that place's memory, um, to what happens at that place um, through their presence, through the activities that they, they engage in. I think the people, they are so proud now for Muljman. I mean the local community, and even the people who lived around Muljman. They are so proud, you know, what, what exactly, uh, what we did, you know, uh, in the side and what, uh, 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 what we are going to do, you know. Inshallah, Muljamal will be in the World Heritage Sites last soon. And uh, it will, uh, then people will understand the, the, the real value of the site.